Hey, what's happening guys? Chris here, and if you want to generally get more scrap in Mad Max so you can afford those upgrades, then hopefully this video might help you out. You'll need scrap to buy some of the cooler weapon upgrades and stronger armour for your car, and to upgrade Max himself. So getting a lot of scrap so you can do this is pretty important for your overall progression. As you might expect from an apocalyptic wasteland, there's quite a lot of scrap scattered around waiting to be picked up. Whether you're trekking through a story mission or just wandering around the desert. And there's quite a lot of ways to get it. Some of the more common ways are just to destroy some of the enemy vehicles that you'll see driving around and you should be able to salvage some from their wreckages. Or of course just finding it as you go about your missions. But there's a few other, quicker ways to get a lot more scrap to get those much needed upgrades. First off, to make life a little bit easier, drive over to an air balloon and scout the area with your binoculars. This will highlight any of the places of interest on your map and possibly places that have piles of scrap waiting to be grabbed. A good place to start is the scavenging locations. As you might expect from a scavenging location, there's quite a lot to scavenge in that location, including scrap. These areas can be found on your map as little yellow diamond icons. One of the best ways to get scrap is also by heading over to enemy camps and taking them over. Not only can you find scrap littered all around the camps in various locations, but once you've conquered the base, you'll automatically start to generate scrap on a regular basis. The more camps you take over, the more scrap you'll generate over time. So if you can, it's best taking over the bases earlier rather than later, if you want to take full advantage of your scrap collecting. And the best part is that you don't even need to collect it or anything. Just wait, and over time, it'll add up. Another way to get more is by doing the scavenger encounter missions. After every encounter, you'll be awarded 50 scrap. It's not a hell of a lot, but it's better than nothing. So if you're feeling a little bit evil, you can kill the scavenger that gives you the scrap and take another 50 just for yourself. Another way to boost that scrap count is by finding enemy scrapulence vehicles zooming around on the wasteland. As you might expect from the name, these cars can net you large quantities of scrap. But you don't want to destroy them. Instead, you want to hijack them. They're quite fast and hard to catch up to, but use your nitrous boost and you should be fine. Once you've killed the driver and taken the car, return it to the stronghold and add it to your vehicle collection, and a big load of scrap will be given to you. Just make sure you don't destroy the car along the way. Scrapulences normally drive away from you and they're normally quite fast, so if you see an enemy dart away as quickly as possible when you come rolling, it's most likely worth hijacking. As you're travelling around the world, make sure you pick up any scrap that you can see, even if it's slightly out of your way. You never know how much it could be worth. Yellow diamond indicators on your minimap are dead giveaways to some easy scrap pickups. But one last thing you should look out for is scrap pallets. These are bigger than your typical piles, and are in bags and normally found in enemy strongholds and outposts. If you find one, make sure you don't ignore it, as these are worth about 50 scrap each. So there's quite a lot of ways to find and get scrap in Mad Max, but these are some of the fastest and easiest ways to get large amounts to cater for all your upgrading needs. So if this video helped you out, punch that like button, and make sure you subscribe to see plenty of other guides and videos on Mad Max and loads of other games too. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.